and I'm back with another video and today we're going to be doing another scenario from Kubernetes Go it's called attacking private registries so let's just get into it so let's first look at the overview so in this scenario we will see one of the misconfigurations of docker container private registries and how we can obtain and gain access to these images and their content there was a popular hack around this in the early days of containers where Vine, Twitter acquired now, got hacked and in, and the entire source code of this product was leaked due to, the, to, due to a simple misconfiguration. Also, we see a ton of similar cases to even today, but with an authenticated registries as well as misconf misconfigured and permission, misconfigured permissions and privileges. So let's just quickly check out that Twitter Vine source code dump. So this is a work. This is a, uh, I guess you can say it's a hack, and I highly encourage you guys to just go through it. It's pretty simple on how he he did it, and it was very simple, but very the impact of it was pretty huge. So yeah. So I guess let's just see what we're gonna learn in this scenario. So by the end of the scenario, we'll understand and learn the following. We'll learn how to interact with the docker container registry api able to introspect the container registry api containing images and manifests understand how the container metadata gets stored and interacts with the layers so first let's look at the story here so the story is a container registry is a place where all container images gets pushed get get pushed most of the time, each organization has its own private registry. Also, sometimes it ends up misconfigured, public, open. On the other hand, developers assume that their inter internal private registry is only for internal and end up storing all sensitive information inside the container images. And let's see what we can find out here. So, basically, get to, to get started with the scenario, let's basically go to this website. Um, uh, localhost 1235 and basically the goal of this scenario is basically obtain the k8 goat flag value under the private registries so see you guys then i guess so let's get started with the scenario which is basically copy the localhost website and the goal of the scenario is obviously to obtain the k8 goat flag uh value under the private registry images so yeah uh so what we can do, go to our attacking machine, paste that in. And here we see we got we basically got a blank page. So we so we know this is an API. So we even did the view source here and we got nothing there. So you go back here, go into the website, and we can just go to the spoilers here. Um it's so looking at the website reference to doc container registry API documentation. So See how to query for a REST API, so we know it's a REST API server. So this documentation is the one they're talking about, and you can find it at the bottom of the page, uh, the references. So yeah, right there. So yeah, uh, that's it. So here we get the HTTP API, and here we just see the overview, blah blah blah, source stuff, and now we see us see an API version check. So a minimal endpoint mounted at v2 to provide version support so what we can do we can uh, go back into our attackers machine and basically uh, paste in the website and do v2 and next to it and we see we just get a empty bracket so we know it's going to be it's working so we can also do a curl real quick to see if we're going to get if we get anything different and we see we get the same thing so we know it's working so we can go back to the documentation and just scroll down here. You know, we can try these, but but it doesn't work. So now what we can do is we can actually go. I usually like to list list out the repos repositories if there is any. So here we use a slash catalog here to list the repositories. So we can do we can do a quick curl command here and catalog. And here we see that we have two repositories here it's from the same person. KH code Alpine and KH code user repo. So what we can do here is go into one of them and uh, we can go into Motherwakala K8 go user repo here. And we can just see what's inside it and or where or if it 
does anything and say doesn't give us anything here so we can just go back to the website scroll down and basically here we've all done this stuff here we just did that so here we see we have uh, we can get more information about the specific image using this manifest endpoint. So it, what this does is basically gets the latest manifest, and basically uh, we can see all the information and stuff about it. So here we see all the stuff. This is uh, not that useful to us, but we know our flag is in is in here, basically because he told us it's uh, the tip told us it's under the private registry images so here what we can do is do a grep uh, tag nvn this will basically get all the environment keys and we see here under environment api keys the flag is there kh go uh, the hash so this is basically we've completed the scenario but uh, basically it shows uh, how easy it is to attack private registries which are open to the world and just simple way of you know attacking them and yeah so yeah basically we got the API we got somehow to access it then we just listed out the repositories to see if there are any and then we so there is an actual real life hack same like this uh, and it's in twitter vine score source code dumps so yeah let's check it out so this is a quick um basically a quick recap about the bug that happened the twitter the twitter's vine source code dump and basically what happened in this bug was that um uh this person who did it was basically trying to hack a vine at the time so basically twitter twitter uh twitter vine so what they basically did the first thing they did was go on some open source subdomain uh websites for the important part of the reconnaissance and this he just put uh, he put uh, twitter line and then he basically uh, gave back uh, websites and there's one interesting one which gave up the census.io gave me an interesting url this url and then when he went to the url he looked like it looks like a private docker registry the one that we just did so he just started uh, attacking the private uh, Docker registry, and he just started querying the with the search a API endpoint, and it got him basically this YAML file or this JSON file. Sorry. So then what he did was he pulled the uh, Docker registry, the live Docker uh, Vin app, and then basically what happened was that he basically got all the source code source code for. Um, Vine at the time, so he basically got all the secrets, the source code, uh, stuff like that. So he got API keys, third party keys, secret stuff like that. And uh, the it was uh, it was misconfigured, and it could e he was allowed to even host a replica of Vine locally. So yeah, so that's like a very big issue, obviously. So you know, um, it was a simple, simple uh, attack too. He just went on some website, put in, put in the uh, quick keywords, and then he got a website, a Docker, Vine app, which shouldn't be actually open to the public. So the re the uh, the tech people probably thought that this uh, website the docker vine app they thought it wasn't on there was they thought it was only internal so they uh, went ahead and dumped secrets onto it so basically like source code and stuff like that but they didn't actually know that it was in the outside world so yeah so that's basically just a quick overview about what happened you can go in much depth into this uh, it's just here the references in the docker Twitter's Vine source code dump. So yeah, that's basically the video, and I just wanted to show you guys a little quick segment of that. So see you guys next time. Peace.